you like um, hold down the reset button on your device itself or the power button. And of course, then you just hit the plus. If that doesn't work, and you can either do auto setup. Usually it shows up here. There's three ways you can add these. And if for some reason it still doesn't show up, you jump into manual, hit the cafe lights, and it will probably 99.9% .9 of the time, it will be perfectly fine. If for some reason it doesn't show up, then simply plug and unplug your device and you'll be good to go. So first things first, what exactly are we capable of doing? Well, the first thing we can go ahead and do is of course, turn this on and off. So we're gonna go ahead and do that a few times. Very, very easy to turn this on and off. Now inside of the uh, section itself, we can go ahead and rename our device. I named mine Dining Cafe Lights, and there are some few device settings you can go and mess with, update firmware, so on and so forth, but that's not too, too important. I know you guys are interested in the more cooler features of this. So what exactly are we capable of doing? Well, there's this really nice on button right at the bottom. Then you get three different topics. The first one being mode, second one being color, and third one being dimming. That's right. These are there's different modes that you can just run these at. You can also change the colors. And of course, you can go ahead and dim these as well. You also get light customization. So we're going to jump into how complex and interesting that is as it goes on. But we'll start off with the basics. So if we want to do twinkle, we're simply going to go ahead and click it. And as you guys can see, my lights are now twinkling. How awesome is that? Really, really cool. And of course, we can do rainbow. So this is where all the lights are kind of a little different color, you know. Pretty nice. We can do red, white, and blue. Maybe it's 4th of July and we're throwing a party. And of course, that's always fun. Then we can do Valentine's Day. So let's go ahead and try that out. Oh, yes, all Valentine's colors, except we are really far from that. We are actually very close to autumn. And look how interesting that vibe is. It just changes the whole vibe of this entire room and makes it look so, so cool. We can also go ahead and do blink, where it will kind of blink back and forth. And there's also St. Patrick's Day. So these are really nice. You know, if you're running like a restaurant, if you just have a dining room, if you're about to throw a party, all you have to do is jump into application, click it, and you're good to go. But here's where it gets really, really crazy. As you guys can see, you can actually go and let's say it is fall right now. So we're going to play with the autumn one. And I can actually click the settings here. And as you guys can see, I can mess with the effects the dimming, I can do all these cool function uh, functionalities. So of course, what I could do is instead of having this just solid uh, fall colors, I can go and have them twinkle. How beautiful is that? I can also have them be a strobe light. That's a little much, but with that said, I will say this looks really nice outdoors because like the strobe, you know, when there's sun out, it doesn't really, really affect your eyes as much, but when it's indoors, it's kind of like, oh, things are happening. There's also pulse. This is happening a bit quickly as well. And of course, you can go ahead and hit the wave chase. So this is where it kind of just like blinks back and forth. Really, really nice. Good way to grab attention and whatnot. Here's chase. I find this one kind of cool as well, where the colors kind of just, well, um, one, one or two colors just kind of run around, I guess you could say. There's wave, which is really interesting as well. This one kind of just blinks one or two back and forth. And my favorite, which is just a kind of fades and glows back and forth, just enough to keep calm in the background and give your room a nice vibey fall atmosphere. Um, you can actually go and mess with the speed of any of these, uh, well, not any of them, but a good chunk of these effects as well. For example, strobe, as I mentioned, can be a bit much, but if you slow it down, it's perfectly fine. As you guys can see, it'll do it every once in a while. And if you dim that just a little bit as well, it's almost unnoticeable, which makes it really, really nice because it's in the background, but it's not fully in your face. You're not really using it to light the room. You're using it to kind of, you know, just add a little bit of atmosphere to the room. And as you guys can see, each of these has their own cool dimming uh, setups and of course their speed as well. My favorite, of course, is the wave chase and the fade. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that to a nice slow speed and look how cool that looks. It's so, so simple. Okay, we spent a lot of time in this little section. So I'm gonna close this, you guys get the point. But I do wanna mention you can add your own. And inside of here, I'm gonna show you guys all the cool options you get. So as you guys can see, when you add your own, you can go ahead and mess with the color temperature of the light. So if you want a really, really cool look, you can go and do that. If you want a really, really warm look, you can go and do that as well. How awesome is that? Now, I can also go and mess with the individual colors. So here's all the different colors I'm clicking through. Um, I can add a set of colors that it kind of jumps between. And of course, I can go and add a third one as well. So I'm gonna go and add that as like, a, what kind of matches this pink kind of vibe? You know, maybe you're setting this up in your kid's bedroom or something of those sorts. Well, maybe this is the aesthetic you're going for. Next, we're gonna go and hit dimming. You can hit 15%. 50% or 100%, but there's also a nice little slider so you can go and mess with that as well. How cool is that? So as you guys can see, 
this is a really nice aesthetic and gives this room a cool look. However, it's not really dining room aesthetic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this to twinkle and then I'm gonna slow it down quite significantly. And then I'm gonna add some dining room color, something more minimal, you know, something just enough to light the room up with one of these lights and then just enough to maybe um, show off the atmosphere here. I'm gonna add a little blue. And then of course, go ahead and add a little orange. Mix it up just a little bit. You know, you can really have fun with it. And I really like these colors. So this looks really cool in this room. So we're gonna go ahead and use this particular setup. Okay, cool. So there's dimming, um, the percentage is good. Now I'm gonna customize it and I'm gonna call this my dining setup. How cool is that? All right, and you can add a cool little picture to it if you're really feeling that as well. Okay, so as you guys can see, there's a lot you can do in just modes. Next off, we're gonna jump into just normal colors. So of course, this is exactly the same as what I showed you in modes, except this time you just choose one color and it stays like that. You know, no, no crazy effects, nothing wild. This is just like the default settings we're looking at. And if you want a nice yellow atmosphere, you can do that, the Kelvin being low, or you can add a nice white atmosphere, which I think gives this room a really, really nice modern glow. But if you want colors, you can do that as well. So here's the different colors, and you can also set the dimming. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set the Kelvin very high. And of course, those are the basic functionalities. How awesome is that? The coolest thing about this is that the colors up here, a little touch of the app, as you guys can see, change to show you what's happening. So if for some reason you are not home and you wanna mess with this because you know guests are coming or something of those sorts, you can go ahead and do so as well. Okay, so here's where things get really, really cool. As you guys can see, I told you that this gets really cool. And the reason is that this comes with a set of 12 lights, right? And you can actually go and individually go and mess with them as well. So of course, let's say you want to turn off light number six. Well, as you guys can see, light number six just turned off and I can do the same for one set down. So maybe I wanna turn off light number nine and there you go, I can keep certain ones off if that's what you choose to do. Now, the other cool thing is you can go and hit the color up here and you can save all of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this. So press any number. So let's say I wanna disable a bunch of these. And I wanna keep only one on or something of those sorts. Or maybe, as you guys can see, inside of my dining room here, there's a lot of lights on the side that sometimes look nice, but might not look nice. So what if I only want the top ones turned on? Well, I can go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna turn off all of these, and then I'm gonna turn on these particular lights. I am missing one. Let's go ahead and turn that one on. And one more should do the trick. And there you go. As you guys can see, now I only have my top lights turned on and it looks really, really cool. It's a really nice way to give the room an interesting aesthetic. All right. So as you guys can see, you can go ahead and save that as well. And that's just like the default way you can go ahead and mess with any of these lights. So all in all, this application is a 10 out of 10. They designed it so well. It's really, really cool. Um, there's so much functionality here, um, interesting things you can do with it. And of course, you can go ahead and mess with all of these as well. There's everything from the most basic of being able to turn the lights on and off to, of course, going and dimming things to setting them to certain modes. It's just really, really cool. Um, every functionality you could possibly dream of. And of course, as I said, it is fall right now. So we are gonna, gonna jump back to our fall aesthetic. And that's gonna be it for this particular video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Now you would think that that is almost everything inside of this application, however, it is not. As you guys can see, these are on my front door and you know, these lights don't need to always be on. It would just be nice if they're on maybe when someone comes to the house or if they're on when on a countdown basis or something of those sorts. Well, you can go ahead and do that as well. As you guys can see, I can hit schedule here and it will run the lights in different ways. So as you guys can see, I can add a program and then I can choose the lights to run between certain times if I don't want them to stay on all night. And you can choose the schedules for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You can do it once, you can do it weekly. And so let's say I do want them ha this happening all seven days and I want them to turn on, you know, when it gets kind of like dark. So it gets dark around, let's say seven, uh, yeah, around like 7 p.m. And then of course we don't really need them on at like 3 a.m. So I'm gonna go ahead and save these settings so that's when it will turn on. You also have presets here. So you can just click those and you can kind of hit save. And you can also turn these particular programs 
on and off or delete them right from here. How awesome is that? Now this is brilliant because while this is indoors for this light, these lights are also designed for outdoors. So if you wanna go ahead and use them outdoors, you know, it might like be annoying if they're running all night or if maybe your neighbors are not a fan or something of those sorts, you can set it to automatically turn on for a certain amount of hours, maybe till midnight and then turn off and all of a sudden you are good to go. All of this happening on its own. Another cool idea here is a countdown. So let's say you are throwing an event and you know that these lights need to turn off at 11, but you don't want to forget because you know that's just not good. So what you can go ahead and do is you could set a timer. You know your party is gonna run for around, let's say 12 hours, and you can go ahead and uh, set the 12 hour mark, maybe 12 hour, two, hour uh, two minute mark, and you can hit okay. And now this timer is gonna count down and it'll say device will turn off after 12 hours. How cool is that? Now this is super, super simple stuff, but you know, it has the capability to do it. My other favorite thing about this is that you are able to go and use Alexa to control these lights. You can use um, Google Home and of course you can be like, um, hey, dining cafe lights, turn off and they will go ahead and turn off. You can maybe set them to red, you can go ahead and set them to red, you can go ahead and dim them. You can do all those cool functionalities directly from inside of there. How awesome is that? Now all in all, I give this application a 10 out of 10. It is brilliant and gets the job done. I can't even think of any features that you could possibly need to add to them. Everything is seamless, happens instantaneously. And all in all, I give these just a really, really awesome review. Go ahead and check them out in the link below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you don't believe my review, you can go ahead and check out the Amazon reviews because let me tell you, people love these things. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.